How does a city actually cut its carbon footprint? I don't know. But one of the ways is not with slogans, but with sidewalks. We all agree that driveways will stay asphalt or concrete because of the traffic loads from trucks to other vehicles that demand it. But those pavements beside it, those medians, those little plazas, they don't need to be mini concrete guzzlers. Every time you pour concrete block by block, you pay three times. First for the cement, transported from the quarry and then made in a kiln hot enough to melt your patients. Then to haul the sand and granite across town. Then again for the CO2 that came out when the limestone was cooked into clinker. Cement ends its keep on bridges and slabs, especially because no one else can. But on sidewalks, it's often just a habit. There is a smarter swap, quarried stone sets or slabs on a stabilized base. Granite is not some fragile cousin of concrete. It's an igneous rock that has been here before your great grandparents. You don't need it. You cut it and then you lay it. That's all. Fewer cement heavy layers, fewer trucks, less embodied carbon. And when a utility company misbehaves, you leave the pieces, do your work, and lay it back. No jackama required. Bonus points go to permeability. A stone or open jointed system can be detailed to let rain soak into a sub base and breed off slowly. Less water needs to go into your drains, less flash flooding outside your gates. In a city like Lagos, where one cloud can end your afternoon, that one detail could go a long way to its resilience as a city. Will I ever say ban cement? Never. Cement and steel cemented us as an advanced species. Use it where it's doing engineering, not where tradition is on autopilot. Why do we need to crush granite and then use cement as a glue to bind it together again, when we can just use the granite itself? It's literally called kerb stone. I've seen this in many Chinese cities. Stabilized subgrade, then pre-cut stone placed on it. Clean, durable, easy to repair. And the carbon math leaves you proud. We already do the same here with local quarries, but not nearly enough. Ebony, Kogi, Enugu, Plateau, Ogun, Oyo, Oshun, and many more states in this beautiful country have granite deposits. So shorter supply chains, better life cycles, and even cooler pavements under your foot. City leaders, here's the play. Pilot one kilometer with stone sidewalks, permeable layup, shaded tree line, LED street lighting on timers, track temperature, runoff, and most importantly, maintenance calls. If the numbers are better, scale. If they are not, adjust. But stop defaulting to the heaviest option because that's how we do it. As they say, Little drops of make a mighty, not by magic, but by design. If you have a counter opinion or you'd like to add more to this, please share in the comments. I've been Fola Jomi. See you on the next one.